Graffiti cleanup volunteers in San Francisco's Chinatown are branching out to other parts of the city to restore tagged businesses. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba has more on that group's cleanup efforts. Andrea? During the pandemic, San Francisco stopped enforcing graffiti removal laws and tagging proliferated. Now volunteers and the city are looking to clean things up. At the corner of 20th and Irving, Robert Lowe is doing what he estimates he's done 10,000 times in the past two years, cleaning up tagging on the side of a commercial building. You have to have passion for it. I mean, you have to have passion for the neighborhood, the people, the community, everything, just like how we feel about Chinatown. The group United Peace Collaborative has concentrated their efforts in Chinatown, but is branching out to other commercial corridors. Leanna Louie is the founder. She's also running for District 4 supervisor. It's important because we got to let people know that we, we love our city and we want to protect it. Graffiti is the gateway to crime. So when, when you see graffiti, most likely people feel that, hey, these people don't even care about the community. These volunteers are about to get a boost from the city in the form of a two-year pilot program just signed into law in Mayor London Breed's budget. It was written by District 7 Supervisor Myrna Melgar, who says lack of tagging enforcement snowballed the tagging problem during the pandemic. There's lots of empty storefronts, people tagged, uh, tagged some more, and then nobody was cleaning it up. There was no incentive to because um, nobody was enforcing it. Now with $4 million, the city will help business owners repaint in major commercial corridors with a combination of the carrot and the stick. Typically, fines get issued by the city 48 hours after a building gets tagged. Right now, the city has the ability to clean up graffiti, but only from public places. If it's a private building, we can't touch it unless we get permission in writing from the owner or the tenant. So this way, um, it's like, you know, we will get permission from you in exchange for not fining you. Supervisor Melgar hopes clear commercial corridors will fill empty storefronts again. Louis hopes untagged buildings will help increase a sense of safety as well. We can't tolerate graffiti and we cannot tolerate other crimes as well. The program is expected to kick off in four months and will last around two years until the tagging problem is under control. In San Francisco, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.